Hello everyone. In this session, we will be taking a new part of topic circle and that is about point of intersection of a line and a circle. We may not be interested in finding actual points of intersection, but about that whether line meets a circle or not and then further about point of intersection. So what are we expecting? We expect one circle here and I am taking circle in its simplest form where center is at the origin. That means I will be starting with x square plus y square equal to r square kind of a circle and then we would be talking about points of intersection of a line and then we expect when I am saying a line means it has to be of the form y equal to mx plus c. So line is y equal to mx plus c, circle I am taking as x square plus y square equal to r square. And if a line has to meet the circle, then we know that various cases we are expecting. One, it meets the circle at two distinct points. Second case could be, it meets the circle at two coincident points, means basically line touches the circle, coincident means. And then third case is imaginary points. Let us write this in terms of x and y and then handle the situation. We have two equations, equations one and two, and then from solving those two equations, we are expecting that we will be finding points of intersection. Recall what we have done in straight lines. Whenever two straight lines were given to you, and if you were interested in point of intersection, we have always solved. So let, let me not spend more time on that, that why do we say that point of intersection, if I have to find, then we solve those two equations. That part I have already taken there. So if I am asked to find here point of intersection, will I not be solving those two equations? That means solving those two equations means general method is you eliminate one of the variables, right? So here I may eliminate y. Why? Because y is given in terms of x. So I replace that y as mx plus c in equation of the circle and I will be getting one quadratic equation. The moment I say I am getting one quadratic equation, the first thing what comes to your mind is, what is that? It is discriminant. So discriminant is important. Discriminant I have evaluated and it is four times r square into 1 plus m square minus c square. Now the discriminant will actually play the role. Now I will be getting two distinct points case means the point of intersection to be distinct if I want then that discriminant will have to be greater than 0 and discriminant greater than 0 would be equivalent to r square greater than c square upon 1 plus m square. So this becomes the condition or if you want to write for r then r should be greater than absolute value of c upon under root 1 plus m square. This is the condition if you want that line to meet the circle at two distinct points. Okay. Now, this is also equivalent to getting two distinct roots of the equation. Understand one thing, all are one and the same. Whether you say equation has two distinct roots or you give geometrical interpretation and say line meets the circle at two distinct points or if you say the condition for that is r greater than c upon under root 1 plus m squares absolute value. Means if you have r greater than c upon under root 1 plus m squares absolute value, then you may conclude that as equation has two distinct roots or you may conclude that as line meeting the circle at two distinct points. It is one and the same. Okay. Let us proceed from here and go for next case. The next case could be where points of intersection I am expecting to be the coincident ones. And if they are to be coincident ones, then obviously discriminant of this equation 3 what we had has to be equal to 0 and discriminant equal to 0 if you simplify further you will be getting c square equal to r square into 1 plus m square and from there you can write r and r would become c upon under root 1 plus m square and I am taking absolute value so that r I maintain as positive 1 it was radius if you recall and also writing that condition r equal to c upon under root 1 plus m square with absolute value is as good as saying equation has two equal roots and it is as good as saying that line meets the circle at one point or line becomes the tangent or one more thing you can say points of intersection are nothing but the coincident points. I mean there is variety in which we can say the same thing. Now let us proceed further from here and now remaining case. Remaining cases points of intersection are imaginary. If points of intersection are to be imaginary then discriminant will have to be less than 0. Simplify like previous cases and get condition on R. R becomes less than absolute value of C upon under root 1 plus m square and it is equivalent to equation 3 what we had considered having imaginary roots. So 
we have found conditions corresponding to various cases where line meets the circle at one point or two points or none of the points etc in terms of r c and m where m is don't forget slope of the line and what was c c is intercept of that line and r is radius okay let us proceed further from here and now similar things under important notes i am revising once with you first important note is that if I am starting with y equal to mx plus c and circle as x square plus y square equal to r square, then c square less than r square into 1 plus m square. This condition is equivalent to saying that line is secant, means line must be meeting the circle at two distinct points. Second thing, I am just writing in geometrical words now, the same situation. That second point is says c square equal to r square into 1 plus m square. And this is equivalent to the line meeting the circle at one point only. Means line becomes the tangent. And third case is c square greater than r square into 1 plus m square. And line does not meet the circle at all. Now same thing. First I tried to write in algebraic form. And now I am giving the geometrical interpretation. Okay. And the next important note is that if a second drawn through P intersects the circle at two points A and B. Then PA into PB is a constant and this quantity PA into PB is known as power of a point with respect to a circle. This particular thing we may be using in problem solving and just trying to take your attention that this kind of thing you have already seen in your geometry also that PA into PB would be a constant. Now here I end my session and next time when I meet you again I will be getting something new. Till then stay tuned. Thank you. Hope you have liked this video. To subscribe, please click on this side or if you want to place an order for the book, please click on this side. Thank you.